After the high numbers population in the world, agricultural areas decreased, horizontal expansion is no longer feasible in housing, and the transition to vertical expansion has begun, which makes the areas accommodate more people. It did not stop at normal vertical expansion, but tall skyscrapers appeared for housing and work. After the towering edifices belonged to rulers, religions and great empires. Why Jamaica doesn't have skyscrapers? Tall buildings appeared in crowded cities, such as Paris, London, Manhattan and Hong Kong, with commercial spaces. It revolutionized office work, as it enabled the administration to concentrate offices and departments in one building, especially with the advent of trams, subways, and railways that transport workers from their places of residence to a single place for work. Big cities are competing to own tallest buildings, and they need ventilation and artificial light began to increase, as a necessity for human habitation in those tall buildings. Traditional ornamental patterns and recognizable windows have fallen to show the inserted windows that are characteristic of skyscrapers, and after that, they want to solve the problem of population and lack of space. Competition and the desire to show progress and power became the reasons for building skyscrapers. After the engineers make much effort to build the tallest skyscrapers in the world, now architecture is back to show that skyscrapers are more harmful than we think. Tall buildings require much effort to stop swaying, which requires more steel and concrete. It also needs stronger and deeper foundations to accommodate these high rises. Tall buildings consume a lot of energy to run air conditioners, industrial lighting and elevators. The carbon emissions emitted from them are significantly higher than those emitted from mid-rise buildings. That means the high-rise buildings solve the problems of residents and office departments on the one hand. On the other hand, they tear up countless tons of natural land for deep foundations and gives tons more of gases and carbon into the atmosphere. This accelerates the process of climate change, which the same countries with the tallest skyscrapers in the world claim to be fighting. In addition to all its environmental harms, it is currently considered an unsafe and unsuitable environment for work because it depends on air conditioners, which is one of the reasons for transmitting the virus during the air cycle. If skyscraper designers didn't think, the nature has its ways of retaliating. Environmental policy professors warn of the danger of tall buildings. They announce skyscraper construction should be banned globally because glass is a particular problem with sunlight because it makes the light reach the building unlimited, but with no way out. There is no natural ventilation at all, just more air conditioning. They assert that the world is spinning in a vicious cycle of building skyscrapers. Then they attempt to cool it, which consumes energy, contributes significantly to the climate crisis, which increases the temperature of the planet. In your opinion, are there other reasons that prevented Jamaicado build skyscrapers? Comment your opinion. Thank you. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe the channel.